Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tablet. With me, Aditya Nisa Begum, and in today's video, we are going to learn about hierarchy. So, hierarchy in Tableau is what we are talking about. Okay. So, in the last session, we did we learned a few points about aggregation and granularity. Now, similarly, there is one very important concept called hierarchy. Let's try to understand what this hierarchy is and how does this work. So, if you know about hierarchy when we are talking in literal sense. So we know in our companies, so suppose if there is an associate, then above that there is a lead, above that there is a manager, above that there is a VP and so on. So suppose there is a CEO, if this is the hierarchy. So this is called as a hierarchy. This is how it goes. So now I hope you have understood what a hierarchy is. Instead of defining it and you know explaining it to you uh, with the definition, I thought this would be a better way to explain. So now talking about hierarchy in Tableau, it's an arrangement where entities are presented at various levels, same as this is. So if I take about I take an example of the data sets that we can have uh, of our superstore data set, what are there? There are countries in that. Then they have regions, then they have cities, right? So this is your hierarchy. So at different levels, these are divided. So these are called as, this is called as basically hierarchy and this is an example for that. So now that you have understood hierarchy, uh, and I hope you have understood the example as well that I have given you. In W, we can create hierarchies by bringing one dimension as a level under the principal dimension. So, I hope you have understood we are going to use dimensions for creating hierarchies and not measures. Okay, so we'll bring one dimension un under other. So suppose you have countries, regions and cities in your dimensions. So, so, what we'll do, we'll bring regions under countries, cities under regions and we can also have some... Uh, what do you call them the postal codes right so postal codes also you can bring under this if you want to right so this is how you will uh, you know create a hierarchy the main dimension is the one over which we create the hierarchy so we start from from countries and then we do this okay now when it comes to analysis the concept of hierarchy that is when it comes in handy so as you don't have to bring all the dimensions separately into analysis having meaningful hierarchy is definitely you know in our analysis it is useful and we can expand from contract to the main dimension as needed so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to use our global superstore or a superstore data set where we can find you know a lot of regions countries and all that so you know i can give you a very good example of what these hierarchies are and how they work how can they be useful to us and how can we view them in Tableau? Let us try to see what that is. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just remove this. We'll probably connect to a data. What does the global superstore data have? Okay, so let's look at there. So you have city, state, country, postal code, right? So we can definitely create a hierarchy here. Have a look at the data set if you can create hierarchies, right? See, you have country, you have region, you have state, you have city, you also have postal code. So this can be a very, we can create a very good hierarchy over here. And we go to the sheet now, and now I'm going to create a hierarchy. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll take country and I'm going to create a hierarchy. So click on this arrow that you can see, hierarchy, create a hierarchy. What do I name that? I will name it as country. I will name it as geography. Okay, so this is my hierarchy. So I have country here. I can move region. So it's up to you. How do you want to create it? And then you, I will move state. What can what else can I move? There is also there was also city, right? So yeah. City. And it's up to you if you want to add the postal code as well. 
right so all this comes under geography so now what happens we have created a hierarchy here now what if i take hierarchy to this so here you see you are seeing a plus symbol over here can you so when you click on this it takes you to region and again state and then city and then the postal code now suppose i want to uh, i'll take a very small example okay not a very granular one i'll take a very okay, shipping mode maybe this can be the shipping mode that will also depend upon the sales okay let me take order dates can that help and i don't really think that is helping in any way let me create some no okay so this definitely gives me a better idea okay so how the right so you see how the sale, how the sales are going on in these places and it will also depend upon if my data is aggregated or not so if i want to take average you see the bar chart looks better so if i remove these okay if i remove region if i remove state if i remove city if i remove postal code okay so all of them are combined now again i can go into the deeper layer of granularity right now you know what granularity is as well all right so i think the better one was a bar chart if it is created right so this is how it goes postal codes are not given and thus it is null so it is better if we remove the postal codes at all okay and i'll also remove postal codes from these again now this looks like a better chart for me so now you know how to create hierarchies and you also know how to add these now you can like i did you can either drag and drop or you know you can click on this go there and say add to hierarchy and add to geography or you can just drag and drop like how i did to the postal code previously or i can just remove this from hierarchy right i can keep on doing this as well so now the hierarchy is gone there is no hierarchy at all right so this is how things work i hope you have understood what does the hierarchy do now and i really hope that helped you right okay then so if you have any doubts feel free to post it in the comments and right see you in the next session happy learning goodbye